Okay, what is going on guys, and welcome to your I don't know what episode of programming games in C++. So as promised today, we are going to get to work on handling the mouse. Now, uh, today I'm actually going to do, like I did last episode, kind of kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to be teaching you as alongside how to use your mouse, as I'm going to teach you how you can output things that aren't char arrays as a bitmap because you see we've o we've only got a count we've in our yeah in our render bitmap string our third parameter is a character and we can't output with strings or integers or floats so I'm going to show you how you can do that if you need to so we're going to start out by getting the mouse x and y mouse y position this is really really simple you just declare a vet you can do floats if you want I'm doing integers because otherwise it's going to look horrific and then just anywhere in your game loop, I like to put it just before the input because it's kind of input as well. Don't put it in your SDL poll event loop though, because not a loop. Uh, don't put it in that while that while loop there because um, it's not going to work. You're then going to need to pa pass the mouse x and mouse y wraparound. I've got to put that. So now actually that's it. You've actually now got mouse x and y position. So that was the first part of the tutorial. Um, now we're going to get into the longer bit where we're going to learn how to how we can output integers and floats and all those other kinds of things. So we're going to need to include a new file. It's called sstream. And what sstream basically is is it creates a special type of string, well, a special type of string stream that will take in any integer take in any kind of value as a stream and then it will output it so it won't we won't output the actual string stream but the string stream will act as like a middleman to pass the integer to the chart array so we, first we're going to declare two character arrays um, let's call them x mouse because we've already called one mouse x let's make that 20 actually let's just make it 4 uh, because that's I think that's the most amount of we're not going to get many more. I don't think we're going to get any more numbers in four. Uh, then we're going to need to declare a string stream. So this is in the std namespace. If you want to, you can just type using namespace std, and you don't have to put all this stuff in front of you. And yes, ha ha, std. It's really funny. Um, but I'd like to have std in front of everything. So we're going to make string stream. I'm going to make two because we want one for mouse x, one for mouse y. And what we're then going to do is this is how you put a value into your string stream. Oh no, we don't want to do that. We want to input mouse x. So that's the integer we just got the mouse x from. And then to the second one, we're going to input the mouse y. Okay, so now I've got that. Now we need to send the data that's now in the string streams. We need to send that to the character arrays that we declared earlier. So we're going to do the exact same thing, except with the arrows facing the opposite way. I'm just going to say put that into x mouse. And white mouse. And then we're going to render the bitmap string. So we'll just say 100, 100. And we shall just say x mouse. And we'll do the same for the y mouse. Let's do 100, 25, white mouse. Right. So this hopefully will compile. We're not going to get any errors, I don't think. I have tried. Uh, this time I actually did try it, guys. I have got this working, so I know it does work. And look, it didn't work, everyone. Oh my god. Perhaps because. Perhaps because. 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 Because of the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Um, yeah, I think it might have been because we put it before the clear color buff a bit. It was just clearing what we've done to the screen. Yep, there you go. So now, as you can see, it's actually rendered slightly behind the character. There, it's a little bit annoying. Now, as you can see, it's actually correctly reading our mouse position now, which is really, really cool. The annoying thing you've got to remember, though, is that um, oh, it isn't actually. Oh, I've never noticed that. I've learned something new teaching you things. <laughs> I thought the uh. Y axis for the mouse position wasn't inverted, but it turns out it is. 
Let's see if we can get it to exactly zero. There you go, precisely zero. We can get it like, yeah, you you can you can play about with that. But that's basically teaching you how you can get your mouse and y, mouse x position, mouse y position, and how you can render different variables as a bitmap string. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.